everybody else, not everybody else, my everybody else. I said, be yourself, a hey, be yourself, be yourself, a hey, be yourself, be yourself, a hey, nobody else, and nobody else, and nobody else. What's good, sis? It's your girl Chloe as me back in the cut with another video. And today, well, before I get to talk about today, I want to tell y'all what I got on my face. And it's just, a, it's just a regular old mask. Honestly, I had it on in the store and everything because when I put on a mask, I like to have it on for a minute because I've learned that when I have on the mask for a little bit of time, it really does not do much to my skin so i have to kind of like leave it on for a good little minute for it to like you know seep in the pores and work and it's like whatever i try i cannot get rid of it like i have like a long skincare routine and it manages my skin like it keeps it like it keeps it decent but i still have acne but this morning i woke up with jupiter mars and pluto on my dang face but sis ain't nothing wrong with your acne girl ain't nothing wrong with your acne embrace it if you have it that's why i don't mind like coming on camera with my acne and stuff because i know that there's really nothing wrong with it and the devil is a liar and he will try to make us feel bad about ourselves and the devil's just mad because jesus loves us so 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 much that we will never even know how much he loves us so what the devil will try to do is try to make us not even love ourselves when we should really love ourselves we should be spreading love to everybody we should not be bashing people we should not be tearing people down and we should especially not be tearing our own selves down but that is actually not what today's video is about today's video is actually going to be hygiene tips you feel me one-on-one -on -one, the female hygiene tips these hygiene tips could be for everybody i mean there's certain tips that are for females but these these tips right here could be for everybody and i just want to like help everybody with hygiene because i know a lot of people like a lot of young people and even older people struggle with hygiene because you know sometimes the parents don't really take out the time to teach their kid how to thoroughly clean themselves and sometimes Sometimes when you're younger, you don't even really care on how to clean yourself, but when you get older, you're like, dang, maybe I should have learned at a younger age because now I don't even really know how to clean myself. So with that being said, if you need some tips and you want to smell good, sis, keep on watching this video. Now, a lot of you guys may be like, this tip is like so obvious, sis. What are you even sharing this for? Like, I already know. Like, what are you saying? But... <laughs> Girl, I mean, you would honestly be surprised on how many people don't know this. So that tip is to just shower daily. So every single day that you get up, shower, take a shower, clean yourself. Now, the reason why I say this is because if you keep up on it, then it's more likely that you won't stink as bad. Because if you just let all that odor just sit there for extra time, sis, it's just going to get even worse. So with that being said, please take a shower every single day. I know a lot of people may disagree with this. They may say that it's not good for your skin and this and this and that, but... You have to shower every single day. Like, you really do have to. It's not bad for your skin. As long as you're using moisturizing products, if you have dry skin, just use moisturizing products. And if you don't have dry skin, then you are okay. You are in the clear. Take a shower every single day. And even if you do have dry skin, sis, you can still take a shower every single day. All right, so the next tip is to use a lot of soap. Like, do not scrimp with the soap. Use a lot of soap. Now, I know a lot of y'all folks may be disagreeing. Y'all may be like, how does it make a difference? Or, that's going to dry your skin out. But I'm telling you, I have learned from experience that using more soap definitely makes you smell way better and if you don't believe me sis just try it once and you will see you will be smelling so 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 much more bomb all right so the third tip to be more specific is to use an antibacterial bar soap now the reason why i say that is because i mean you have bacteria all over your body by the time you have to take a shower again so when you get that antibacterial soap you are literally disinfecting all the bacteria that was on your body and we all know that bacteria that builds up causes odor and who likes odor says not me all right now sis you didn't clean your body with the antibacterial bar soap now you are like clean now you want to go in with a body wash now a good smelling body wash i don't mean no plain non-scented body wash i mean a good scented body wash because after you clean your body with the antibacterial soap you have a clean like surface then you want to go in with something that smells super super good which is the body wash and you want to clean your body again which gets you extra clean and that makes you smell really really good that's the scent that is going to stay on your body i probably should have said this tip before i said the last tip but Please use a washcloth. Please use a washcloth before you go in with any loofah, before you go in with any of those like sponge thingies. But please go in with a cloth or washcloth first because that right there is going to get you thoroughly clean. Now you got your antibacterial soap and then you got your washcloth. So you want to get your washcloth, you know, saturated with water. Then you want to put the bar soap in there and you want to like fold the washcloth over or the bar soap and you want to scrub like this. Not scrub, but you want to go back and forth like this with your hands and the washcloth and the bar soap. And as soon as it is dripping soap, that's how you know, sis, it is time to clean your body. So after you've used your, you know, your antibacterial 
exterior of soap. Then you want to go in with whatever body wash you're going to use. And then obviously you want to rinse off the rag so there ain't no more soap on it from the antibacterial bar. Then you want to go in with whatever body wash you are using and, you know, get a lot of it. Do not scrimp with it. Put it all over the washcloth and then you want to go like this again and scrub your body. And do not play around with the scrubbing. I mean scrub. Like that's another tip, sis. Scrub. Do not scrimp with the scrubbing, sis. Scrub. All right, girl. So the next tip is to use a gentle wash for your lady parts. Please do not use anything that will hurt you, burn you, make you just suffer. Please do not use nothing like that. So don't be using that Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. Honestly, I don't even suggest that Summer's even Vagistil stuff. Please don't be using none of that stuff. That stuff ain't no good. You ain't supposed to be using that perfumey stuff. Now, the reason why I say don't use that stuff is because, first of all, it will burn you. And second of all, that'll knock off your pH balance. And when your pH balance is knocked off, you will start to smell a certain type of way that you ain't never smelled yourself smell before. So please be careful with what you use down there, sis. It is very sensitive. It is something that's not a joke. It is something that you don't want to like play around and just, oh, I can try it. I mean, I'm sure nothing will happen. Girl, use some sensitive stuff. And I use ivory, baby washes, stuff like that. Be gentle, gentle stuff. Like some of the even Vagisil and stuff, they try to make us think that we're supposed to smell like flowers and perfume down there, which no, that's not how it's gonna be. You are not gonna smell like roses and flowers and juicy couture. You are not going to, it's just the truth. I mean, we all have our natural scent and that's just how it's gonna be. Now sis, I really suggest that you clean yourself twice when you are in the shower. So you know, you get your gentle wash, you put it on your washcloth, get a good amount. I don't scrimp with it, honestly, I use a lot of soap like a lot of gentle wash why do i keep calling it gentle wash it's just like a gentle soap so you got your washcloth and you got your soap you want to put the soap all over there like i said do not scrimp put a lot of soap on there and you know those edges of the shower put your leg on one of those so your leg is like propped up on like the side of the shower so that you kind of your downstairs area is like more open i don't want to like seem nasty or whatever but i'm just telling the truth i'm really trying to help people because i know a lot of people struggle with this for real now obviously you want to get your washcloth really soapy and you know go like this with a rag or whatever and you want to go in and clean yourself so you want to clean you know the exterior you do not want to go in that whole part. Now, that whole part is actually called the vagina. Now, where I got thrown off and confused at in the other hygiene videos that I used to watch is when they used to say, do not use soap inside of your vagina. But what they're saying is do not use it inside of the whole part. You can use it on the exterior, like your lips and stuff, but do not use it inside of there because that can really mess you up. But I do still suggest that you clean it just only with water. So you rinse your lady parts all off thoroughly and then you want to go in again with the washcloth and you want to clean yourself again. Then you rinse off thoroughly again and then you are clean. Now when I was a little younger, I was so confused on why like my hair couldn't hold good scents. Like I would wash my hair, scrub, 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 and then I would get out and then my hair still would not have like a good, good scent to it and I just could not understand. So basically what I do is I shampoo my hair two to three times. So I go in with the shampoo two to three times and I really, really, really scrub like I really get in there and I scrub for a while. Now a lot of y'all may be like, there is no way I can do that. That will dry out my hair. There is no way I can, you know, wash my hair two to three times. But that is what I do to keep my hair smelling good. Now I know that cold water is really good for your hair. But I like to use hot water when I'm washing my hair. Because I found that when I use hot water is when my hair really, really smells good. And also when you are going to like shop for your shampoo and conditioner, make sure that they smell like strong smelling. Like even if you're going to shop for like a dollar shampoo and conditioner, make sure that that dollar shampoo and conditioner that you buy, make sure it smells really, really strong smelling and that lather is like very 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 important i know that they have shampoos out right now that have like no lather to it but i don't mess with stuff like that because i have to have that lather to like know that my hair is clean so i like to lather my hair up with a lot of soap and then when you go to put the conditioner in your hair let it sit in there you kind of want to put a shower cap over your hair and let it sit in there so that that smell is you know sitting in your head and then when you get out of the shower you want to use like a strong smelling hair product and if you go to like the curly hair section then you will find some really really good smelling stuff sis like even if you go to the curly hair section you can still find products that you can use in your straight hair and your wavy hair but they just smell like 10 times better all right so now that you are out of the shower then you want to go ahead and go in with a good smelling lotion and a good smelling body spray so i definitely suggest victoria's secret or bath and body works because they have the best smelling stuff hands down and you don't just want to go in with the lotion one time and the body spray one time you go in with your lotion and then you spray your body down with this and then you go in with your lotion again and then you go in with this again Again, and then when you put your clothes on, you want to go in with this again and just drench your whole. I, 
outfit. So what that's called, as my mom calls it, and as she taught me to call it, is layering your products. So you just want to layer it. So you go in with your lotion, then you go in with your body spray, then you go in with your lotion again, then you go in with your body spray. And when you layer it, I don't know what it does, but it just makes you smell so much better. It makes it last so much longer. Like, girl, you know when you spend all that money on that dang lotion and body spray, and then you look up two hours later or an hour later, and you don't even smell like it no more. Now, that is why I started to not scrimp with the body spray. Like, I've had this one for a while because I haven't been using it, but I do not scrimp with the body spray, like, at all. Like, I like to use a lot of it. Like, when I put my outfit on and stuff, I go in with it and go all over because when you go in with a lot of it is when it's going to last. If you go in with a little bit, if you go in with a little bit of it, you're basically, like, wasting it because it's not going to last. Now, I also like to go in with, like, other body sprays, too. And, like, not too many. I like to usually go only the max of two body sprays because if you mix too many body sprays, you will get to stankin'. So, please, don't be mixing too many body sprays. And don't put body sprays together. You know dang well ain't gonna go together. So, like I said, I just like to go in with, like, more than one body spray. And, you know, you feel me because it makes you last. And this is... Why it stop spraying? Um, sis, I did not... Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I did not spend money on you just for you to quit on me. <laughs> Man, y'all don't even understand how many times I have tried to tell people this tip and they just did not listen to me. Please, please do not scrimp on the deodorant. Please do not. Because the more you put on, the more of a chance you are not going to be stinking. I like to put a bunch of deodorant on because I know that if I put a bunch on, I will smell good throughout the whole entire day and ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping musty. So please, please put your deodorant on and put a lot on. All right, so now we are on to the last tip and a lot of people may not understand this tip, but I'm gonna explain it so that you guys can understand it. Kinda, maybe, so. Now basically this tip is just to drink a lot more water. Now the reason I say this is because your body needs water. Like there's no way that you can live without water. You need water. Your body does not need Pepsi. It doesn't need slushies. It doesn't need pop, period. It doesn't need all those syrups. It doesn't need ice cream. It doesn't need none of that. It needs water. Now, when you drink a bunch of water, you are cleaning your insides out. So you are internally cleaning yourself out. And now whatever is internally in your body is going to like seep through your pores. So if your inside, if the inside of your body is not cleaned out and you're just eating a bunch of junk food, drinking a bunch of pop, it's going to, that is going to seep through your pores and you ain't going to be smelling good. So drink a bunch of water because you are cleaning your inside out. And when your inside is clean out, sis, you are going to be clean on the outside as well. Well, you still got to clean your body, but just please drink a lot more water. You will smell much better. So that is it for all the tips that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that I can help you guys in some type of way. I hope that you guys got a good tip, at least one good tip out of this video because I really want to help people with hygiene. Hygiene is, is, is very, very important, sis. Like, I cannot stand when somebody just walks past me and then I got to smell like some nastiness. Now, before I head up out of here, I got to share with you guys a really good scripture because this scripture is so, 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 so good. I have to share with you guys and I have to share the word of God with you guys. The end days are here, you guys. Jesus is coming back very, very soon. And it's time for people to wake up. We have to make it to heaven. We, nobody wants to burn in hell. Nobody wants to do that. So we have to make it to heaven. And to make it to heaven, we have to obey Jesus. So this scripture is Corinthians 1, 20 through 21. And it says, So what about these wise men, these scholars, these brilliant debaters of this world's great affairs? God has made them all look foolish and shown their wisdom to be useless nonsense. For God in his wisdom saw to it that the world would never find God through human brilliance. And then he stepped in and saved all those who believed his message which the world calls foolish and silly. So what that means is do not listen to anybody that is not talking about Jesus. They can talk, 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 talk all they want, but if they are not speaking the truth, it's nothing. Like it says on here, it's useless nonsense. And it says that God had to step in and save the people who believed in him. So please have that faith. Believe in Jesus because he will save you. He will set you free. He will break all of those chains. Amen? You know, a lot of people think that if they focus on, you know, money and they focus on cars and getting that, then they will, you know, get it. But really, all you have to do is focus on Jesus, put all your focus on Jesus and just focus on him. And guess what he'll do? He'll supply all those little toys that you want. That's nothing to him. That's just little, little things, little things. He can supply all that. It ain't nothing. 
So please, you guys, read your Bible. Get that bond with Jesus. Live for him and spread the word. Jesus will bless you and bless you and bless you. And he will shower you with blessings every single day. He will keep his hand over you. He will cover you with his holy blood. This folder is actually from Bible study that I used to host at like my old, old school. I used to get together with like a few people. And I know one of the people that watches my YouTube channel, her name is Mo Ed. She was one of the coolest girls ever. Oh my gosh. She was so cool. And we would sit down and we would have this Bible study. And we would, we would talk about Jesus. Jesus, we would read the Bible. So one day I didn't come in because I was sick. And that day that I didn't come in, the devil had used a lot of people to come at the people that I was doing Bible study with and make them think that what I was saying was fake. So just know that when you are trying to get closer with Jesus and when you start to get closer with Jesus, the devil is going to try to knock you off of that. He's going to try to attack you. He's going to try to use people to come at you. He's going to try to make you, you know, go back to your old ways. But please do not. It is not worth it. The devil is a liar. Jesus has been too good to us. And I was watching something the other day and it was talking about how we don't get mad enough at the devil. All the stuff that he has stolen from us and all the evil things and we don't get mad enough at him. So if any negative things start happening, if any negative thoughts start popping up, if he starts to lie to you, rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I rebuke you, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. And that name of Jesus is so powerful. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. I mean, they flee. They do not want anything to do with it. So with all of that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are leaving this video feeling motivated and inspired. And I hope that you guys are starting to live for Jesus and you know, spread the word as well. And just know that you have a purpose. You are put here for a reason. But now I am finna head up out of here officially this time. You feel me? So goodbye.